Hey everybody, uh, it's me checking in again. Uh, wanted to do a little video on sharpening saw blades. I have uh, a few saw blades here I got from auction. I don't think I paid more than a dollar for all of them, maybe less. Uh, and do a little uh, video on the, the radial arm saw I got it working, uh, the three phase DeWalt. Uh, but before I get to that, uh, I'll show you the saw blades. So, uh, what I have here is, this is just my regular table saw. Um, I bought this diamond blade from um, Lowell's. It's a cobalt. I think I paid uh, 45 bucks for it, bought it brand new. Uh, if you're lucky, you can get them at auction. I haven't seen one. Um, but you'll need a diamond blade to, to do this. And, uh, you know, a saw or whatever you got for... Um, you might be able to do it, off, do it off of a radial arm saw. I'm not sure. I just do it off of here. Uh, I got a look, my collection of saw blades here that need sharpening. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where they have fancy jigs and everything. This is a limited edition drywall jig I have. And really, the only reason I use it is just to keep the saw blade off of the table. Uh, so when you're rotating... Uh, you're not running this through the metal. Uh, it's funny. I'm sure the previous owner of these saw blades um, considered them to be bad, and you know they're all dull and everything like that. But I know this this particular saw blade right here is uh, thirty to forty dollars all day long. Um, you can see uh, you can see how much carbide is on the teeth. There's a there's several sharpens on this blade available, and I actually already sharpened it, uh, so I'm not going to show you this one. But I was just using it, and I took it off to put the diamond blade on. So yeah, this is a thirty or forty dollar blade. Sharpened it. It uh, cuts like butter now. So uh, I'll go ahead and set you up right here, and kind of show you how this works. Uh, before I get started, I'm using a few different things here, uh, my hearing, and you know, anytime you deal with metal, um, you're going to want to use eye protection, because if you get that in your eyes, you're in, you're in trouble. And I just use a pair of gloves, and I use a respirator. Um, you don't really need to wear a respirator, but <clears throat> depending on how close you are, when you grind, it'll kick into your face. Well, before I get started here, uh, I'll show you kind of what the process is. <clears throat> I take my blade, and in this case, this looks like a rip, a ripping blade for, um, you'd use this on like your little skill saw. Um, I just do it by hand. It's kind of an art. Uh, I guess if you had a jig, it would make it a little bit easier, but with all these different blades, you'd have to adjust your jig every time, and it's just way easier for me to do it by hand. What I do is just take it and get my angle off my blade and match it to the blade I'm sharpening, and just give it a quick, a quick uh, grind up against it. So, and then I'll just rotate it, keep going through the whole blade. So, that's what I'm going to be doing here.
that only took me about uh, two minutes to get that one done. So you can see, hopefully uh, in the video, you can see the, the teeth and how that diamond blade goes ahead and sharpens all the edges. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind uh, when you do this is uh, some of these blades you're not going to be able to do that with this method. Uh, I got one here. This must be an old style blade. Um, you can see it's kind of got a round bevel on the, the tooth. Obviously you're not going to be able to do that one. Um, some people say, you know, it's cheaper just to buy new blades than it is to sharpen them, but I, I disagree uh, quite a bit just by that one right there. I mean, that took me five minutes and just saved me 30 bucks. The ones that are junk are blades like this, the ones that don't have the carbide. This is just an old, an old blade. I know you can still buy blades like this, but these aren't worth sharpening. They don't hold an edge very long and there's just not much tooth on them. For these ones that I am doing, I mean, uh, the carbide, it really holds a sharp edge for a lot longer time. Um, some of these have like chipped teeth. You can get away running them with chipped teeth, but um, I don't bother. I mean, they're just trash. Uh, the other thing you'll see on some of these blades is the, the way these teeth will be angled. They'll be like this saw sawtooth or something I'm not sure what the actual you know, patterns called but those are a little bit harder to sharpen I don't have any of those um, I get by with these ones so uh, I'll show you one more sharpen see which one we got here I'll do it a bit on a big one here I actually I have a really fine um, fine tooth blade right here so you can see, as long as it'll fit in there, you're good to go. And the part you're sharpening on is this little bit right here. It's got industrial diamonds on it. So that's what you're aiming for. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to sharpening saw blades. Um, I know before I tried it, I didn't think it was uh, it, I didn't think it was going to be that great of a thing. Uh, it, it seemed kind of like a cheap way of doing things, uh, not necessarily the best way, but after doing it, uh, it's definitely worth it. Uh, your blades are going to be really sharp, uh, and they cut a lot better. So. Um, now I got myself a nice little selection of saw blades for, you know, a dollar. But other than that, uh, if you haven't tried it yet, you got a bunch of dull saw blades sitting around the shop. Um, I recommend it. Give it a try. It's uh, it's worth your time, especially if you've been cutting, if you've been cutting with the dull blade, and uh, once you get it sharp and you start cutting with the sharp blade again, it makes a huge difference. So. That's it for sharpening. I'll uh, see you on the next video here. I'm gonna do a little bit on the radio arm. So.